Hello, this is uh, Carly Jeffrey from Save Our NHS in Kent. Um, yeah, today we're having to report the news that unfortunately we didn't win the legal case, the judicial review that we went to court with in November. Um, obviously we're devastated by this news, we're devastated for our claimant, for our local services, for the local people here. Um, we did all we could and at the moment, uh, yeah, it is not looking not looking great. However, um, we might appeal and we also um, have to sort of let people know that there is also another uh, judgment that we're waiting to hear about, which is to do with the referral back of the plans from Medway Council to the government, which means that uh, Matt Hancock, who is the uh, Secretary of State for Health, currently has a report on his desk from the Independent Reconfiguration Panel. We don't know what the recommendations are in that report, um, but we know that the Secretary of State, Matt Hancock, he has the power to actually stop these plans going ahead. Um, and we are, it's, the ball is in his court, we're waiting to hear from him. So there is there is something else happening. He has the power to do that. It'll be very interesting to see whether or not he actually waves the plans through and lets our services close, or if he makes a decision to keep the services open. Um, in terms of what's happening with Save Our NHS in Kent now, um, we're actually having a big meeting tomorrow outside QEQM. So that's 11 a.m outside QEQM Hospital in Margate, um, on the Ramsgate Road, which is the, the a &E side of the hospital, um, the place where we normally meet and have protests. So people um, really should come along tomorrow and they can be part of the conversation about where we go next and what we do next. Um, we don't intend to give up. I mean, Sonic um, will carry on fighting no matter what. Uh, we see it as our uh, job to keep tabs on what's going on, find out the truth about what's happening with our local services and make sure that we spread the word as widely as we can. And we will continue to do to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, there is a possibility for uh, an appeal on this case, which we'll be taking very seriously. Um, so that's all for now. I just wanted to let everybody know about that and obviously keep uh, coming back to our website and to our Facebook page and our Twitter account to, to find out what's happening next. And of course, Isle of Thanet News as well. Thank you.